Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel. This is another Fan TV. Back at you another video. Like the content in this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content on this channel. Please hit subscribe. Ravens content coming at you on a pretty much a daily basis, man. Ravens had a game last night, so we got to talk about what happened. So we're going to start off with the top, right? The Ravens won the game 24-17, and the streak lives on. Now, I'm going to tell you this. This might be unpopular. I don't know. I don't really care about the preseason win streak. Ravens were undefeated last year in the preseason as well, obviously, and they lost the first game of the season. doesn't really matter too much to me. Also, um, preseason is about the players, not necessarily the results, right? So that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the players on the field. Um, four rookies really, really stood out to me and made a major impact on this game, all right? The Ravens, look, they have a really, really special rookie class right now. All right, so you know who I'm going to start off with. You know who I'm going to start off with. Isaiah Likely, Okay. This guy was literally unguardable. Uh, we're talking about, I believe, eight catches, 100 yards, a touchdown. All right. Um, last week versus Tennessee, I knew I had seen enough eyes there like to say, okay, this is a player. We're going to need him on the field. Please take him out of the game. This week, after the first drive, he catches a pass. Okay, great. Then he catches another pass, breaks a tackle, gets some more yards. I said, okay, I've seen enough of my Isaiah Likely. Then I see him catch a pass, find a spot in the zone for for. So Tyler Huntley can hit him. That's great awareness. Then the drive where he scores a touchdown, I believe he had about 60, 70 yards on that drive alone. Uh, he scores the touchdown, and the beautiful public high scored a touchdown. He he does, it's a slant route, but it's how he sets up the slant route. Outside, fake release, back inside. That's why receiver type stuff. At 6'4", 240 pounds. That's the same kind of move I saw Rashad Bateman do versus the Bengals last year on the goal line. Isaiah Likely is doing that, all right? And I, obviously on that on that drive, the play of the drive, he catches a pass maybe 10, 15 yards down the field, breaks a tackle, turns it into another 20, 30 yards. The guy is special. I don't know if I've ever seen a Ravens rookie jump right in immediately and say, I'm ready to make an impact right now, On at least especially on the offensive side of the ball. We've had some defensive rookies, obviously, but on the offensive side of the ball, a guy just to come in straight like that, Man, Isaiah Likely is special, bro. I'm, I'm really excited about this guy. Um, so, yeah. So, big shout-out to Isaiah Likely. That needs to be his last preseason game. He doesn't need to play next week. I don't need to see him. Please, keep him out of the game. I don't need to see him next week, all right? We're going to need that guy for the season. Second guy, man. Travis Jones continues to bully other grown men. There is no other way to put it. It's as simple as that. Uh, he got the rough in the passing call on Chase McSoy. In my opinion, he got it because he pushed him too hard. They, you could say because, you know, they helmets touch and everything like that. I get that. But he's bullying dudes, whether it's swimming past the center, picking the center up, pushing them out the way. Like, he's he's the definition of grown man strength, all right? And he has moves, too. He's he's very nimble and agile for a guy his size. Um, great game from Travis Jones. Now, this is why I say preseason doesn't matter, right? And it's not about the it's not it's about the players, not the result. Because a guy like Travis Jones showed me plenty in that first half. He showed me plenty in the game versus the Titans. Why is he still playing third or fourth quarter and he ends up getting hurt? All right. I know what you're gonna say is football is all kinds, it's always a risk of entry, and I get that. But when you have a chance to reduce the risk, you do it. We're gonna need Travis Jones this year. He doesn't he doesn't need to show you anymore. He showed you enough in practice, he showed you enough in the games. He shouldn't have been out there. But, you know, I, I saw people in the Twitter comments uh, underneath, you know, the Ravens post defending and saying, oh, he's a rookie. What has he proved? Why should he be out the game? Because there's one, there's other guys trying to make the roster. Travis Jones is, is solidified. He's good. Two, he's shown you enough that he doesn't need to be out there. What else? If I want to see the best of Travis Jones, I want to see it in the first half, right? That's when he's going against second strings, maybe some starters. By the third or fourth quarter, the Cardinals are putting in their third, fourth string guys. What do I need to see Travis Jones against those guys for? For what? But anyway, Tarball said this is a hyper extension of the need that he shouldn't be out too long. That Travis Jones preseason, his preseason is over. But um, so hopefully we'll have him out there for week one versus the Jets, man. Okay. Now, next guy. Next guy, man. Pepe Williams, man. Pepe Williams caught an interception. Should have had one uh, in the previous game versus the Titans. That's okay. He makes up for it this game. Uh, he was all over the field, defending passes, swatting passes down. He got a bad pass interference call on the goal line, but it's okay. The Ravens still got a goal line stand on that drive. This dude is um, 
I'm trying not to use the words like incredible because it is the preseason, but Pepe Williams is really good, and I love his character. I love his fight. This dude, Pepe Williams, is 5'10", 180 pounds, but every time I see him tackle somebody, they get on the ground every single time. And I can't say that about every Ravens defender. I've seen Charlie Jefferson miss tackles like this game. I saw Kyle Hamilton miss tackles this game. And listen, miss tackles is a part of football, and I know that. But the Ravens have had a problem over the years with missed tackles. But I see Pepe Williams, 5'10", buck 80, not missing tackles. Okay? So I love Pepe Williams, man. Um, now, the last rookie I want to get into, this guy was not a draft pick. UDFA inside linebacker Josh Ross. Every time he's on the field, he's around the football. Whether he's tipping the pass, making a tackle, he's always there. Now, the Ravens, they need some help at inside linebacker, okay? Obviously, Queen and Bynes are set. But after that, Malik Harrison played well. I'm not going to say like he didn't. He did play well. Had a great hit on the goal line versus Trace McSorley. Um, but Christian Welch, he's just been a special teams guy. He hasn't really got much action on the field. You know what I'm saying? I, I like what I'm seeing from a Josh Ross more than a Christian Welch. So I'm, And we know the Ravens have a track record of an undrafted free agent making this roster. Now, we all assumed after last week it'd be Shamar Bridges, but, you know, he could still make the team, obviously. But a guy like um, Josh Rush, he shouldn't be overlooked. He knows the system. He comes from Michigan, where McDonald was the, was the defensive coordinator at. We know that. So, so he's comfortable in the system already. He flies around and makes plays on the football. Every every time he's in a game, I swear he's near the football, all right, if, it, if it's in his vicinity, okay? Um, so those are the four guys that really, really stood out to me during the game. Now, I do want to do a quick recap of some other things that I saw during the game. So, um, so first off, we're going to start with the D-line was very, very good. Once again, the D-line was very, very good. And I haven't mentioned them on this channel before, but Isaiah Mack popped off the screen all night when he was in the game. So, shout out to Isaiah Mack, okay? Another UDFA wide receiver that, that, that I like, you know what I'm saying? Sh Shamar Bridges had a quiet night, okay? We got to be honest. He had a quiet night. He's still a good player. I'm not saying anything about it like that. But Riley Webb, when Riley Webb has been able to get in the game, last week versus the Titans, he made some plays. This week, he catches the touchdown pass. Um, He's doing a lot better than somebody who I mentioned in my players to watch, which was Slade Bowden. Now, Slade Bowden, I think, is still hurt. I thought he was going to play, but it didn't seem like he was ready. So with him being out, once again, Riley Webb is stepping up and taking that opportunity. Riley Webb looks like he's trying to fight for that practice squad spot. Okay? Um... Now, somebody that was that was on my four players to watch list, our Darius Washington, had a good game. He did give up a touchdown. He should have got his head around faster. But besides that, he had a really good game. Um, I like what I saw from our Darius Washington out there. And he's going to need to have those kind of games because, like I said, the Ravens are really thin, man. Not, not them. I'm sorry. The Ravens are really loaded in the secondary. It's a lot of players there. It's a lot of players there. Okay? Um, let's see. Like I said, missed tackles was still an issue. Um, but what I want to talk about on the positive side of defense, this goes back to the D-line when we were talking about. Odafe Owe, his pressure caused that interception that Kyle Fuller caught. Odafe Owe literally abused that left tackle, chased McSorley out the pocket, made him rush that throw right into an interception. So Odafe Owe looks, everything they're saying in practice looks as advertised in the game. He looks unblockable right now. So hopefully that continues. I really like what I was seeing out there. Um, I mentioned Makai Polk. He was solid, had some catches like that. He should have scored in the first quarter, but he, I don't know. It's like he lost his feet. It was a little strange. Um, now, I do want to mention two more, two more things, and then we'll get out of here. Uh, Kyle Hamilton was up and down. He missed some tackles, but he did have a great play on the goal line where he, he jumped up, used that 6'4 frame, and got a deflection. Uh, so, I like what I saw from Kyle Hamilton. He, he, has, he has some good coverage skills. Um but I think the biggest thing for Kyle Hamilton right now is he has to wrap up and tackle. That's the one thing I thought I was getting at Kyle Hamilton for sure. 6'4", 220, safety coming downhill, making a play, tackling, you know, tackling the ball carrier. That hasn't really been there just yet. All right. So uh, that's what I'm looking for for Kyle Hamilton to improve is the, is the tackling aspect. Um, but coverage, I thought he played pretty well in coverage. I don't really have no complaints about it. Now... The last thing I want to mention is, this is the part that's really annoying about the preseason streak. It causes guys to play too much. Nick Boyle is so important to the Ravens' offense, apparently, right? And I get it. Nick Boyle said in the past, oh, I need to play in the preseason because I need to get that feel. Cool. 
Nick Boyle does not need to be playing in the third, fourth quarter in the second piece of the game versus the Cardinals' third, fourth string players, bro. Nick, he doesn't need to be out there. For what reason? Okay. Travis Jones needs to be out there. Isaiah, I like he was out there too long. Um, in my opinion, Kyle Hamilton was out there too long. Now, I'm not saying and – and, and Kyle Hamilton didn't have the greatest game, but we know he's going to play a lot of snaps. Get somebody else out there who's trying to make the team. We don't need to see Kyle Hamilton. I've seen enough. I know what he's going to do. He has, he's going to be up and down a little bit. Okay. But get him out of the game. Um, so this third piece of the game, we'll see what the Ravens do in terms of how much they play certain guys. Um, but, you know, all, overall, good game. I love what I'm seeing from this rookie class. Oh, one last guy I want to mention. I'm sorry. Jordan Stout looks like a really good punter. All right. And I get it. These guys punt guys and all this stuff. They're punting the ball, but they're punting it for a touchback. That, that, that's, that's not doing nothing for the team, okay? Um, a guy like Jordan Stout is putting the ball and planting teams inside the 5, 10-yard line. That's what a good punt is. Just because you can boom at 70 yards and go out the back of the end zone, that's that's not a good punt, all right? Um, but a guy like Jordan Stout is pinpoint. He's accurate. 5, 10-yard line, putting teams back. The Ravens are going to need that. So that's my recap of the game. Let me know your standout performance from last night. Uh, let me know what's something that you noticed. And uh, we'll talk about it in the comment section, like I always say, man. It's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.